Hi gamers, as we enter 2024, it's time to move on with new and upcoming games this year. While we'll always love indie games, but this year we've expanded to include a variety of action titles even not indie games. And just like the titles of the video, today I will show you the best new and upcoming beat them up games that you should play in 2024. So without further ado, let's get started. Thunderblade Saga is 2D side-scrolling action game that combines a fantastical world with intense combat. You will play as Prince Karyan, whose ultimate goal to save the kingdom and find his kidnapped wife. The game's standout features is The Legend of the Thunder Sword, which offers players diverse combination of basic and epic combos. While the majority of the game seems to be combo-driven action, it's worth noting the debut release for the Thunderblade Saga won't support English. Spark Hunt is a classic beat them up game with 3D graphics. In Spark Hunt, players explore the other world and encounter the world span of Limbo, a parallel world where the restless souls come before they can finally rest in peace. The goal is to prove yourself as the best Spark Hunter and be the first to achieve your objective. The game features variety of enemies, weapons, and allows you to perform epic combos that keep enemies airborne. Buccaneer Ship Shape is a thrilling revival of the 1989 arcade classic that perfectly captures the essence of the golden era of beat em up games. As one of four fearless pirates, players hack and slash their way through waves of enemies on a dangerous island. Multiplayer is where the game really shines, allowing friends to join forces in epic sea battles and island skirmishes. It's definitely a game to look forward for fans of 2D side scrolling adventures. Outreach is an upcoming multiplayer beat them up game in 3D graphics. With a capacity of up to 30 players, the game promises relentless carnage in every session. Outreach offers variety of playstyle with game modes battle royale, free for all, and more. The game also offers an immersive experience where you can create your own path to becoming the ultimate Outreach champion. Street of Chaos is a new retro side scroller beat the map game that is made with pixel art. The goal of the game is to rescue your friends who have been kidnapped by the Chaos Syndicate and stop their evil plans. The game features three playable characters, each has their own skills, weapons, fighting styles, and special moves. There are also fun and challenging mini games where you can earn points to unlock more characters to play with. Mayhem Brawler 2 introduces significant enhancements transitioning from 2D to 3D graphics while maintaining a captivating comic book aesthetic. As for the gameplay, players now have two attacks, light and heavy. The combo system has become more freeform, allowing for dynamic and fluid combat compared to the first game. The addition of time travels adds an intriguing dimension. Players can seamlessly switch between timelines, boss fight, different passes, and the overall story. City of Rampage It is a side scrolling beat them up game inspired by Sega classics such as Street of Rage and Comic Zone with advanced combat mechanics, challenging enemies, and even harder bosses. As a survivor who has transformed into a human monster, you must fight your way through the city using your fists, weapons, and special moves. You can also team up with other players online or local to take on more challenging levels. The game features beautiful hand-drawn visuals and dope soundtrack that will make you feel like you are in a comic book. Rara Boom is a side scrolling co-op game featuring four ninja cheerleaders on a mission to save Earth from pro AI robots. The game combines fast-paced beat em up and shoot em up gameplay, allowing players to upgrade combos and use run and gun mechanics. With vibrant visuals, fully voiced characters, and an emotional storyline, Rara Boom stands out in the beat em up genre, offering a simple yet engaging experience. Kyborg is an action-packed game that combines elements of action, rock light, and time management 
in a dark sky-fi world. As the leader of a group of resistance fighters on a prison planet, you must send your clones on a mission to fight mutants, criminals, and soldiers. The combat intense, featuring deep hand-to-hand -hand combat mechanics that allows players to dodge, block, parry, and use various combos and special attacks. You can also use melee weapons and guns, however, you'll need to be strategic with your use of ammunition and weapon durability. Fallen City Brawl It is a side-scrolling action game that is inspired by arcade classic of the late 18 and early 19. The game features four playable characters, each with their own backstory and fighting styles. The game has eight stages of intense combat, where you can use various weapons, combos, specials, and a wolf companion to help you fight. The game also has animated cutscene and a soundtrack by Daniel Lindholm, who composed music for games like Dead Cells and Hollow Knight. The Ijo Wrath of Cobra is a retro-style beat-em-up game featuring legendary heroes such as Duck, Snake Eyes, and Roadblock. The goal adventure to stop Cobra Commander from taking over the world. The combat is both intuitive, offering an arsenal of weapons with explosives that cater to different playstyles. One of the game's standout feature is its multiplayer mode, supporting up to four players in both story and arcade modes. This multiplayer aspect not only increases the enjoyment, but also introduces a strategy component to the game. Raw Metal is an upcoming sci-fi stealth action dungeon game that promises smooth and stylish gameplay. As a lone scavenger infiltrating the depths of the corrupt Orpheus Tech mining facility, players must rely on their wits, gadgets, and combat skills to survive in this high-stakes world. The game offers an engaging interconnected experience through a combination of high-stakes stealth and breakneck combat. Don't you get it? I'm trying to protect you. Maiden Cups is a beat em up game where you play as a strong female warriors trying to stop a secret criminal organization called the Liberators from taking over the city and its people. You can choose between four different police women, Priscilla, Nina, Mega, and more, each with own unique personality, skills, and fighting style. You have to defeat all the criminals you encounter before they reach their high death or before your time runs out. Breeze in the Clouds is 2D adventure beat em up game featuring a character named Breeze. The game takes place in a withered team world that is facing a crisis caused by pollution based creatures. The combat is fast paced. You can choose Fury Lightning fast combos and fun finisher. The standout feature of the game is integration of real world weather mechanics. You can manipulate weather elements to combat pollution and navigate the game world more efficiently. Toxic Crusaders is a beat'em up game that features 7 playable characters, each with their own unique moves and abilities. The game is set in a city that has been contaminated by radiation and mutated by zombies. The game features up to 4 players, allowing friends to team up and take on hordes of radiation rangers, mutated thugs, and zombie chickens. Slav Zero X is 2.5D character action game that takes place in a biopunk world where living machines called slaves are used as weapons of war. The gameplay itself is a significant evolution from its predecessor. Beyond the basic punch, kick, and throw, Slave Zero X introduces a complex combat system with parries, jumping kicks, directional attacks, and variety of situational moves. With its blend of nostalgic gameplay and modern innovation, Slave Zero X is shaping up to be a must-play for fans of the genre. Detain to Good for School is a scrolling 2D action RPG that follows the story of two young schoolgirls who seek revenge in a crime-filled city. It offers fast-paced, hard-hitting, and intensely satisfying combat, making every encounter a thrilling experience. Players can craft their own weapons and accessories from materials that adding more depth to the gameplay. 
The game also introduces a deep relationship system, offering a dynamic and interconnected storyline that resonates with the players. Nike's Laser Remake is a promising revival of classic game with its nostalgic concept and the current renaissance of the brawler. Players take on the role of the three unlikely heroes as they battle hordes of supernatural enemies and terrifying monsters including zombies, vampires, and werewolves. The game features classic beat'em up gameplay with modernized controls and combat mechanics that designed for up to four players. The remake visuals have been completely redesigned with a cartoonish HD look, update visual effect, and revamped character selection screen. Cyberpunk Fighter is a game that combines the best element of the cyberpunk genre with the thrill and strategy of fighting game. Players must learn to balance their character strengths and weaknesses against their enemies and use their cybernetic enhancement strategically. The game also features variety of different environments to fight in, each with its own unique challenges and opportunities. Not only that, the game have a beautiful visual style with vibrant neon colors and detailed environments that truly bring this dystopian future alive. Rodwood is a hack and slash roguelike dungeon crawler developed by Clay Entertainment, the creators of popular games such as Don't Starve and Mark of the Ninja. Players can expect a colorful and animated experience with variety of weapons and character design to choose from. You will battle corrupted beasts, gather what remains and fork to craft new weapons and armor or fortify your safe haven. Additionally, the game supports up to 4 players for cooperative gameplay, enhancing the epic adventure experience. So that's it for today. What do you think about this list? Leave some comment, let me know what you think, and if you enjoy this video, all you gotta do is to click like button. Don't forget to subscribe this channel if you don't want to lose another great list. And as always, thank you for watching, see you in the next video.